Oh my god, finally some decent activity. Pashoo! I mean, a shoe tube, maybe. It, link in the description. Anyway, I'm going to be reading off some of the Live or Die Survival Challenges. Okay, I'm going to get started. Grizzly Bear Encounter. Uh, okay, option one is make noise by yelling, banging, stomping. And then option two is slowly retreat, showing the bear that you are not a threat. And run away as quickly as you can. Or as humanely possible. Now let's see which it really is that will make you survive. Okay, success is option two, caution is option one, and danger is option three. Uh, this is because uh, the grizzly bears are fast for number three, for number one. The black bear is the one that's easier to sc scare. And, uh, for number three, yeah. I mean, number two, the success. Yeah. You'd rather go slowly. Okay, I'm going to skip to, uh, the more common stuff. So that you can survive. Okay, stuck in a burning building. Fact, more people die due to smoke inhalation during a house fire than being burned by flames. So here are the options. Option one, keep low, crawling it on your hands and knees past the fire and to your exit. Option two, attempt to extinguish the fire. And option three, stay in your room and close the door to prevent the fire from getting to you. Okay, let's see which one it is. Oh my gosh, option one is the best thing to do. Option two, which is fire extinguisher, is um, actually dangerous, but it could save a life. It depends on how big the fire is. And option three is a, a, a die because the smoke builds up and you die of smoke inhalation and all the shown that should be a song inhalation i hope it isn't though lost in the woods would you run in one direction attempting to beat the sunset move downhill to find water or stay where you are I think that it's number two. No, I'm joking. It's probably number three. And I was right. I was right. It's number two. Read that a little. That bad quality camera. Okay. And uh, now... Let's see. I think I'm going to end this soon. Okay. Adrift at sea. I have never done this one, actually. Really. Live or die. A violent storm has led to your small boat's destruction. As the boat breaks apart, you find yourself submerged in the cold water. You manage to break the surface of the water, but as you take stock of your surroundings, there's no sign of land. You are adrift at sea. How do you survive? Swimming as quickly as you can to the last land you see, saw. Look at 
at your surroundings and make a plan or scream for help. Oh gosh. I think it's either two or one, probably two. Yep, it's two. First and foremost, your survival will depend on initial reaction. Before acting, take, take stock of your surroundings. Can you use parts of your boat as flotation devices? Are there multiple life vests floating in the water? Is there any spare food or water that hasn't been damaged in the shipwreck? Can any of the debris be used as a weapon? Can any of these items help you single for help once you reach the land? After asking yourself these questions, you can assemble the tools that will be helpful and begin to make your way in the direction of land. Ahoy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so thank you, ShoeTube, for lending me this book. And I guess a boy boy. Boy boy. Wait.